Hi everyone, it's Veronica from Blue Star Crochet. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work the vintage star square pattern. I love the lacy texture of this square and I love the fact that it uses the join as you go method to join it onto the other squares. So it's so much faster to finish your make. This square is very versatile it's perfect for blankets cushion covers or bags you can even make a cardigan um so i'm going to show you right from the start we're going to start working the square together and then on the last round of the square i'm going to show you how to join um the square right here so we're going to start with the square I'm going to grab my hook and my yarn if you wanted the full written pattern for this square and a chart it's available on my blog bluestarcrochet.com as a free pattern or if you wanted to purchase the inexpensive pdf you can find it in my shops on etsy and um Bowery. so uh we're going to start working the square let's push this back a bit we're going to start working the square with a magic circle there is quite a few different techniques on how to work the magic circle and a few different opinions saying it sort of comes loose um i've been using it for all my projects that start um sort of with magic circles or with working into a circle and it's never come loose on me so i'm going to show you how i do my magic circle so we've got the tail end of the yarn and then we've got all, obviously our working end so i'm going to grab the tail end and i'm going to wrap it around my finger i'm going to go one two three here we go so this is the tail end and this is my working end and i wrapped it around my finger with the three loops here and i'm going to grab my hook and i'm going to go underneath all the three loops and I'm going to grab this third loop and pull it under all the other two and you essentially pull up a loop and I'm going to take it off my finger wiggle it off and I'm going to pull through this loop here to fix it and pull down tight on that one so that's how I start the magic circle and now we're going to work into this magic circle and then we're going to pull on this tail end to pull it tight after we finish the first round so the first round of the vintage star square is just 12 single crochet into the magic circle so to start I'm going to chain one this chain one doesn't count as a stitch and I'm going to go ahead and work 12 single crochet into the magic circle. Here we go. <clears throat> so I worked 12 single crochet into the magic circle. And I'm going to take my hook out for a minute because now we're going to pull on the tail end to close the magic circle. When you pull on this tail end, you can automatically see that one of the loops is at the bottom and this one is at the top. So I want you to grab the loop at the bottom first and pull on that one, which will essentially tighten up the one loop. And now you've just got the one loop and the tail end. So we're gonna grab the tail end and we're gonna pull on it really tight. So here we go. That's the first round and we tighten up the magic circle and I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet to close the round off. So here we go. That's the first round where we worked 12 single crochet into the magic circle. To start the second round, we're going to chain four. This chain four counts as the first double crochet and chain one. 
we're going to work one double crochet into the same stitch at the bottom of our chain four and this means we have created the first V stitch of the second round. Now to work the next one, I'm going to work one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet into the same stitch. So here we go, that's two V stitches now created. I'm going to repeat and work one V stitch into each stitch around. So at the end of the second round, we'll have 12 V stitches. So I have worked one V stitch into each of the 12 stitches from round one. Now I've come to the end. I'm going to slip stitch into the third stitch of the beginning four chain to join into the round and here we go that's the second round finished to start the third round we're going to slip stitch into the first one chain space so we're going to slip stitch basically into the middle of the first v stitch so i'm going to slip stitch now to start the third round, we're going to chain one and we're going to work two single crochet, two chain and two single crochet all in the first V stitch here. <clears throat> so we're going to one single crochet, two single crochet and I'm going to chain two and I'm going to work another two single crochet into the same V stitch. There we go. And it kind of creates this little point at the top. So to carry on, I'm going to work into the next one chain space into the next V stitch which means I'm going to skip these two double crochets and I'm going to work in this one chain space here and I'm going to make two single crochet and I'm going to chain two I'm going to work another two single crochet here There we go. <clears throat> so as you can see, this combination of stitches creates little points. And I'm going to just repeat and work two single crochet, two chain and two single crochet into each stitch around. And then we're gonna to come to the end of the round and slip stitch into the first single crochet. So I have come to the end of the third round and I worked the last two single crochet, two chain, two single crochet. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet of the round. And to start the fourth round, we need to get into this two chain space up here. So I'm going to slip stitch into the next single crochet and I'm going to slip stitch into the two chain space. Okay, now to start the next round, I'm going to chain one and I'm going to work one single crochet into the same two chain space. Then I'm going to chain five And I'm going to work one single crochet into the next two chain space. So we're going to create these five chain spaces or five chain loops going from each point of the star. So I'm going to chain another five. 
and I'm going to work one single crochet into the next two chain space. Here we go. And I'm going to repeat this all the way around. So I've come to the end of the round four before working the last loop. We're going to work the last loop slightly differently because if I worked it in a normal way, we would end up down here in this stitch. But in order to start the next round, we need to be up here sort of in the middle of the loop. So to achieve that, we're going to chain two. And I'm going to work one double crochet into the first single crochet of the round. So I'm going to yarn over and work one double crochet into the first single crochet. Here we go. So we completed the last five chain loop, but by chaining two and working the double crochet into the first single crochet, we have now ended up at the top of the last loop which is exactly where we need to be in order to start round five so to um the round five is now going to be the round where we're going to join this square or what is about to become a square we're going to join it onto the rest of the squares here so to start round five i'm going to um, I'm just actually I'm going to show you how this is going to work. So this is where we're going to join um, the square. It's going to join at this point here in the corner. Then we're going to join through the five chain space here, then at the corner here, another five chain space here and the last corner here. Okay, so to start the last round, we're going to um, we're going to chain five. So one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to work one single crochet into the next five chain space. Okay, so this five chain space is basically this one here but this one's going to sit on the outside edge so um, we're not going to join anything onto this one just yet so to carry on with the pattern we're now going to create the first corner or the first half of the corner space and join it onto this one here so i'm going to work five double crochet into the next five chain space so that's one two three four and five okay so that's the start of the corner now if you weren't joining the square onto anything, you would chain three to turn a corner, but we're going to chain one. And now I'm going to grab the rest of the squares and I'm going to work one single crochet through the three chain space onto this corner here. Okay, so we're going to grab that corner there and I'm going to work one single crochet through that corner chain space then I'm going to work back on my original square and I'm going to chain one and now I'm going to finish the corner on the square I'm working on so I'm going to work another five double crochet into the same five chain space So it's the five double crochet and I'm going to work one single crochet into the next five chain space and now we're going to create the five chain space going across here but we need to join it 
we, we need to join it onto this five chain space here. So I'm going to chain two and I'm going to work one single crochet through this five chain space on the other square. There we go. Then I'm going to chain another two and I'm going to work one single crochet into the next five chain space on my original square I'm working on. So if I just show you how it sits so far. There we go. <clears throat> so we join it, joined it in the corner space here. And then we made a join through the two five chain loops there. So now we're coming into the next corner here. So we're going to start half of the corner here, join it onto this one here, and then finish it off. So I'm going to work five double crochet into the next five chain space on my original square. <clears throat> and I'm going to chain one and now I'm going to work double single crochet through this three chain space on the corner of this square here see this three chain space that the other two squares are joined onto so this is where I'm going to work the next single crochet there we go and then I'm going to carry on and finish the corner I'm going to chain one and work another five double crochet into the same five chain space Okay, and now we're going to work single crochet into the next five chain space. And we're going to carry on and create the next five chain loop. I'm going to chain two. And work one single crochet through this. Show you through this five chain loop here and we're going to chain two and one single crochet into the next five chain space here so if I show you where we are at, we've joined it into this corner here and we've joined through these, these two five chain loops here and we're coming to the last corner space where we're going to create another corner here and join it through the three chain space here. So I'm going to start another corner by working five double crochet into the next five chain space. We're going to chain one and work one single crochet through the last three chain space. Chain one and another five double crochet into the same five chain space. And 
point one single crochet into the next five chain space so here we are now we have joined the square onto the rest of those i'm going to carry on and just finished finish the last corner space here So I have now finished the last corner space of the square and to finish off the round we're going to slip stitch into the first, into this double crochet here that we worked at the end of round four. There we go, I'm going to pull through and Fasten off. And here we go. So that's how you work my vintage star square with the join as you go method. So we've joined at the three corners and through the two five chain spaces here. So now we have finished the last square, I'm going to show you how to work the border around um, my vintage star squares. Um, so we're going to grab um, corner, three chain space. I'm going to start on this one here. And we're going to join yarn in this corner here. There we go. And I'm going to chain five. Which counts as the first double crochet and two chain. And I'm going to work another double crochet into the same corner chain space. So this is the first V stitch created. And I'm going to chain two to turn the corner and I'm going to work another V stitch into this three chain space here. So that's double crochet, chain two and another double crochet. So here we go. So that's the V stitch here, chain two and a V stitch here for the corner. <coughs> Now we're going to pick up these stitches all along the side. So now we look here and we've got this group of five double crochet and I'm going to work one V stitch into the middle one. So I'm going to skip two and work one double crochet into the third double crochet here. So I'm going to work one V stitch into this double crochet here. So that's double crochet chain two and double crochet here we go now we come to this five chain space here and we're going to work one v stitch so double crochet chain two double crochet and we're going to chain two and double crochet. There we go. So that's all in a five chain space here. Now we've got another group of five double crochet here. So I'm going to skip the two and work the next V stitch into the middle double crochet here. And now we come to this space here where the two squares join together and I'm going to work one V stitch around this join here. So that's double crochet, chain two, 
and double crochet. Here we go. And now it brings you back to the group of five, double crochet here. So we're going to skip two and work in the next one. So another V-stitch. Now we come to the five chain space again. This one here. So I'm going to work double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, and double crochet all in the same five chain space. There we go. And again, we've got the group of five double crochet of the corner. So I'm going to skip two and work into the third one and we've come to the join between the two squares and I'm going to work one v-stitch around the join so there we go so that's the first round of the lacy border and you would just basically carry on all the way down here into the corner three chain space and you would repeat the same pattern as we did here with one v-stitch two chain and another v-stitch so we'll go all the way around and i'll meet you back at the end of the first round. So I have now come to the end of the round, the first round of the border, and I'm going to work one last V-stitch into, into the middle double crochet. And now I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain of this beginning five chain. Here we go. To start the second round of the border, I'm going to slip stitch into the next two chain space and I'm going to chain five which counts as the first double crochet and two chain. And I'm going to work another double crochet into the same two chain space. Now we come to the corner two chain space. So into this corner two chain space, I'm going to work one V-stitch. I'm going to chain two to turn the corner again. And I'm going to work another V-stitch into the same corner two chain space, which is this one here. And I'm going to work another V-stitch into the next two chain space. Here we go. So that's the first v-stitch there this is the corner v-stitch two chain v-stitch and another v-stitch here so that's the corner and now all we're gonna do is work one v-stitch into each two chain space all the way around the blanket again So we got the five chain space there where we worked the double crochet, two chain, double crochet, two chain, double crochet. So now we're just going to work V-stitch into each of these two chain spaces. And 
re-stitch into the next one. So there we go. So this is the second round of the border started and we will just carry on all the way around the blanket or table runner whatever you're making we'll just carry on all the way across all the way around and we would come to this um, first v-stitch here and you would slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning five chain again to join it into the round and you could then basically work the second round of the border as many times as you wish to make the border a bit wider or you could just do a couple of rounds to keep it a bit simpler and um, to have the border a bit narrower. So I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial for my Vintage Star Crochet Square with the join as you go technique and um, just a start of the border. As you can see, I'm going to finish the border off. Um, I'm going to sew in all these ends and I'm going to um, block it to um, nicely open it up because as you can see, um, blocking does make a lot of difference to your project. I mean, when you look at it like this, it doesn't look like much, but if you block it out nicely, it opens up all your stitches makes them all um, look nice and tidy so that's what i'm going to do to finish off my project um, if you want to see the finished project and get the full free pattern it's available on my blog bluestarcrochet.com i will leave the direct link uh, to the pattern in the description of this video thank you very much for watching bye